good, y'all? Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, I really don't want to make a video putting certain people on blast as a whole. You know, I try to single out certain people because I don't, even to this day and in this moment, I don't believe everybody in a gender, whether you're male or female, are the same. So when I speak on this, I'm making it clear right now that I'm not talking about the whole pie, but at least half of that pie, if not 75% of that pie, is a part of this problem. And the problem I'm talking about is 75% of black women in the society today. I feel like the 25% in that pie, they're either overshadowed by the other 75% or they just are on code and don't want to say nothing because they still value women as a whole and they want to still empower women, which is fine. I, I understand that. But this is my issue. I have a big problem with certain black women always trying to find or take an issue with anything positive going on with a black man. Or even if it's a black boy. I was on Instagram this morning. Some of y'all may have seen it. Uh, it's a it's a video that's kind of going viral. It's a little it's a uh, a little boy, a little black boy, with a little baby, with his little uh, I guess it, yes, yeah, his sister, with his little sister, and he's holding a baby. He's actually sitting on the chair, watching TV, and the baby's on his lap. So he's just chilling. He's just doing this, you know, while the baby's resting on him. And the baby's head started to tilt and look like the baby was about to fall over while he's doing this. But he was quick to just grab the head and move the head back up, move the baby's head back up. And the mom was filming. And as soon as she saw the baby get ready now, she was like, oh, but the little brother, or I should say the big brother, he made sure his little sister didn't fall over. So it looked like he wasn't focused or paying attention or just locked on the cartoon or the TV, but without even looking at the baby, he just knew the baby was gonna tilt over. So he just kind of grabbed the head real quick and kept his little sister back leveled with him. So in the comment section, some female said, okay, cause the, on the, for the video, it said, I don't wanna misquote it, but it said, don't, underestimate a big brother's ability to protect his sister some along that line like basically saying like you know don't don't doubt whether a big brother's gonna protect a little sister you know he's gonna always come through something like that and then the person this female she had to be a sister she gets in her feelings because the mom complimented her older son for making sure that his little sister didn't fall over on the ground. And this female comments and says, why she got to say big brother? Why you can't just say uh, sibling? And I didn't have to say them because everybody in the comments started destroying her. And it's just, it just disappointed me. I was just like, are you seriously triggered that this mother highlighted her oldest son catching her youngest daughter, his little sister, before his little sister, his baby sister fell over or off fell off his lap? And you are such a sexist. You are so pro 
women pro gender, pro one gender, that you were offended by this mother speaking highly of her son, making sure little sister is safe and okay. What was so wrong with that? Why does everything have to be about gender? Why does everything have to be about competition? Who's better than the other? Nobody's better than the other. We all can, both sides bring a quality to life that one, the other can't bring. While also both bring some of the same qualities to life. You know, I don't know who is training some of these women, some of these, especially these black women. But these black women, some of these black women are losing their minds. Some of these black women are going too far with their hate for men to where they would even have a hate towards a little boy, a son. If you're going to have hate towards men because of your past experiences with certain men that you chose to be with, fine. But when you take offense to a little boy standing up for his little sister or not or protecting his little sister, looking out for his little sister, and the mom compliments the son, the little boy, you get mad because it's a little boy being complimented. You can't deal with the fact that boys and men bring great qualities just like boy, girls and women can bring great qualities. But I don't know why there are certain black women who act like black women don't do no wrong. But with, but instead will act like all black men do wrong. And if they do wrong, they're going to blame it on the black man and say, oh, no. Well, it's because of what I went through with a black man. With, you know, when I was in a relationship, my dad, my brother. Just no accountability. Like, where's all this wickedness coming from? Why are y'all so mad and bitter at black men? Maybe y'all mad at yourselves and y'all taking it out on black men because y'all don't have nobody else to, to go to. You can't go to no white man. You can't go to no Hispanic man. You can't go to no Asian man. You can't go to no Indian man. But... The truth is, some of y'all sisters don't know how to talk to a black man. Some of y'all sisters don't know how to have a conversation without being always in your feelings. Y'all don't know how to have a logical conversation without trying to trigger your man. And it's stupid to think that just because you a sister or just because you a woman, a black man is supposed to just sit back or just a man in general is supposed to just sit back and just let you verbally assault him verbally abuse him verbally attack him go on platforms tear him down when the majority is when the majority of all of these men that you're talking about you don't even know none of these hardly any of these men even met you but you are bold enough to go on these public platforms and say what men aren't you would rather demonize men and make men the villain. And y'all act like princesses and queens. But then you wonder why, statistically, there's more and more women becoming single and miserable every day. It's funny how women say they want men to be more in touch with their feminine side. They, it's, it's women that say, they want men to be more sensitive and more understanding and have some emotional intelligence. Women, do y'all have emotional intelligence? Or better yet, do y'all have emotional control? Because you can't be preaching to the world that people don't have emotional intelligence when those same people that are preaching to the world that others don't have emotional intelligence, they don't even have an emotional control. Every other moment, they're snapping, they're losing their minds, they're going crazy. But you say you have emotional intelligence. That don't seem emotionally intelligent to me. Just separate the word emotional and separate the word intelligence. Break down the definition of both and determine if it fits you. I don't think so. A lot of you women out here 
or a lot of black women out here are trash because they're the way they think society has successfully whitewashed and brainwashed these black women to where they don't value nothing about the black man now a black man can move mountains bring the sun down to the earth bring you the stars and all the galaxies and these women will still find something to complain about It's going to take some really strong black women to really start exposing these sisters, man. It's going to, it's going to take some strong black women to say enough is enough because this is getting out of control, man. Little black boys can't even beat themselves because all these miserable black women are going to tear them down and demonize them and make sure that their future is not bright. Thanks a lot, you miserable heifers.